businesses. Small businesses. I love small business. <laughs> you see his face. I just see his face. Who doesn't like small business? Like, I, not a fan. Explain yourself. Well, I don't need an explanation. What's so great well, about a small you, business? So that's what we do. <laughs> What's so great about a small business? It helps communities. And it makes you feel like more connected and it, how does it help nice. it no they don't it doesn't help communities at all how they offer nothing except for like i like downtown like the downtown main street i love going to downtown main street in cities and that's all small of, business a little bit of tax revenue that's it but sometimes it's not about like the monetary value overall it's like the sense of community uh, I'd have to disagree. You'd rather have just like 12 Walmarts on Main Street? Uh, Bunch of Amazon? I kind of like yeah, this I'd one I went to Walmart, not Amazon. everybody would be at the same one. Exactly. <laughs> be I, I hate I hate that maybe it's the small town where I I hate the, the commercials. I hate commercials oh. regardless. As, okay, yeah, no, the commercials are bad. I don't, um, I don't have cable, and I pay extra on every single streaming service to never have to see a commercial, so I don't have that issue. Yeah, so explain your hatred of the small businesses, though. What were, what were you messaging me about? <laughs> I mean, they're just how, how small business people are the same as people on the corner almost. with a almost panhandlers. Yeah, no. You know, their little slogan is always shop local. Why? Well, you have the choice I and mean, you don't have to shop local, but like it supports the people in your hard. community who, in theory, you don't hate. Like, obviously, hey, you don't, hate them. You don't go to their store. I but don't hate them. Today. A bag of suckers. I ordered it on Amazon because I don't shop local. <laughs> uh, it's no, all are hate me. great to zero pops because those are my favorite ones, and I've been addicted to zero pops lately. So that's what I'm eating today. That's exciting. I like the chocolate ones. Yeah, those are my second favorite ones. I don't like any yeah. of the rest. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you're panhandling when you tell me I need to shop local. But like, Goodbye. it's not. To buy something from you that you got from China. But those like shop local signs, like it's not the, it's just a generic sign on the side of the road. It's not like shop local with like that brand underneath it. Like just random people telling you to shop local wherever you feel like shopping local. Uh, they don't even create jobs for anyone. They don't do anything. They, they uh, beg for money. They're money beggars. It's like horrible. Begging. Horrible. <laughs> business schemes horrible business schemes have you ever been into a small business i have <laughs> unfortunately i have he was forced like into, small the only the into only one reason. once in a shootout and he had to dart into a building and it was a small business and then he was like "Fuck it, i'm going back out on the street i'll take my <laughs> amazon only from here on out I mean, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand why people, they open clothing stores. Yeah. Clothing stores, are, those, are, those are a thing of the past. They are not a thing of the past. I they definitely are. Clothes online. You can't try clothes on online. You're going to have to get used to it. <laughs> why? I mean, I'm sure for a man, it's very simple. You know exactly what your size is, but like women's clothing is not universal. Mm. Men's clothing is not universal. It's more universal than women's clothing. Clothing is, no. Clothing is clothing. A, if I go into a store as a man, I know my inseam and my waist size, and that's how I choose pants. As a woman, I have a generic number size, and I have to guess because that size could be a different number across any brands, even in the same store. That's the way all of them are, even shoes. Shoes are pretty universal. I don't usually have issues with shoes. 
Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're different. I mean, regardless of... Not you're the always store, slimmer. So. Yeah, your clothing yeah, store isn't going to be open forever. The only thing I don't care for about small business is just that, like, I do feel a little bit of pressure when I'm in them because I'm, like, the only person shopping. So, like, the person there is, like, trying to, like, engage with me. And as somebody who doesn't like other people, like, I'll buy something, but, like, please don't talk to me. Like, don't engage with me at all. Just be like, hello, I've acknowledged that you're in my store, but, like, that's the extent of our interaction. I mean, that should be your son. You know, you're the only person in there shopping. There's a reason. No. It's just, like, time of day. You have to disagree. What about food, though? How about food for small business? Like, I just got food from a Mediterranean restaurant on Friday. It was really good. And I went to, like, their Facebook page. And on their Facebook page, like, one of their more, more recent posts was just that, like, because of the pandemic, they had to shut down for a while and now they're opening back up and they're really, you know, they're thanking all of their customers for, you know, sticking with them and, you know, still being here for them. Like, do you put food small business in the same category as clothing small business? No. no, no. So where's the line then? Like, what is, what is okay and what is not okay? I'm not sure. I think it's just around here. <laughs> So not all small business then. Nor should so Arkansas small businesses. They're horrible. Yeah, you guys live in a very small town though, so I can't imagine that they're like great. I live in like the bougie part of like my state and suburbs. Like I think the number one and two suburbs are within 30 minutes of me. So like all of our small businesses like the downtown area is just like where you're supposed to be downtown Naperville. It, you know, they start as just like one main street and then it's just, now it's like three blocks of just like all small bougie boutique businesses. Yeah. The crap. I don't ever buy clothes at boutiques. No. Boutique Who can afford that? Afford that kind of person though. So yeah, like I think the boutique clothing is a little bit expensive, but like I love the boutique soaps and um, just like the the kind of like niche stuff. I guess I'm just a jerk. That's fair. That too, but <laughs> at least you can but admit it. They're, I mean, they're. I don't know. There's some. They're not very smart. Well, yeah. A lot of these people are not very smart. That that I will agree with. It's extremely hard to. Well, they have a business. small business. Yeah, like I don't think a lot of people really think it through. They can't do anything else. And I have seen, I have seen the people that are like posting. They're like, I can't raise minimum wage because I can't like sustain having an employee. It's like, so you factored your business around like paying poverty wages? Like, come on, it's like that. Yeah, that's not true. But that I mean, true. the big box places are are paying poverty wages too. So. If a small business shuts down because they didn't budget for paying people to like be able to live on working there, then that's on them. I don't really like small businesses either. No, none of them. Mm, I mean, I don't like most of those downtown top businesses. Why not? I don't know. Just, I mean, I'm kind of in agreement with that. Like, like, if I go in, I feel obligated to buy something. Because it's like, it's not like Walmart where they're making billions of dollars a day. Yeah. Like, their survival depends on every person that walks in buying something. So I like had, I feel um, obligated. And even, I don't even buy something I don't even fucking want just because it's like, oh, I don't want to not buy anything. It's like the Feed the Children commercials. Yeah. yeah. If those people were like, right in front of you, in front of your face, you're going to be like, well, well, I don't have any cash. So you're going to be like, we, we take debit cards. <laughs> a lot of people you're, do. You're I've not going to say no. You're not going to say no. I've seen people like that. Girl Scouts take debit cards now. And I was like, no, don't do that. Now I can now I can buy $50 worth of cookies. And like, I don't need I that. I don't need them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need $50 worth of Thin Mints, but God damn it, I'll eat them. Uh, I thin Mints? Yeah, Thin Mints. You put them in the freezer. They're delicious. They're really good in the freezer. That's how I eat those too. Yeah. 
Hey, you guys probably ate those York pepper patties too, don't you? No, I actually hate them. No, I don't like those. <laughs> I didn't think there's a difference though. There's there is one's a cookie. One has like, like a weird a cream in the middle. Yeah. No. One's one's basically one's a cookie and one is menthol toothpaste in the yeah. In the yeah. Bowl. <laughs> but I and had the- um I had a, a pop-up store, a Toys R Us pop-up store in a mall once. And that was kind of like a small business. Like, yes, it's a giant corporation. It's like at the end of the day, it didn't matter. But I remember um, I would have like, like we'd make like $100 in the day. And be like, yeah, we made our goal. We made $100 today. And I was like, what an embarrassing number. It was like the worst location though. I was like, okay, this is a multi-million dollar corporation. And you put us in like the back corner of the mall. And then you have the audacity to like tell us that we need to do better. Like, no, we're in a corner that there's literally no other stores. We're not even near the play area. Yeah. How do you remember feel? KB Toy Store when we were kids. Yeah, KB mall? Toys, yeah. KB Toys is actually, oh, yeah. uh, Toys R Us owned that. I love that store. Yeah. That was a fun yeah. one. But I remember they shut it down like right after because i went there because it was just hemorrhaging money um mostly partially because of the location partially because of the staff and then i do i do love that i got it shut down like one of my <laughs> greatest joys in life was getting that store closed but it's because the people were terrible but you know it's like if i come in and i'm you know giving you suggestions on how to fix your store they obviously sent me here for a reason and then you're just like when you say, no, we're different. It's like, yes, you're different. And that's why your store is failing. Like, <laughs> listen to me. And then when they wouldn't listen, I was like, okay, great. Congrats on being without a job. Like, I don't know what to tell you. So you're on those people. Yeah. That explains a lot. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> like, that's what it came down to where I was like, Listen, I have genuine suggestions. I think that you should do it this way. I'm the one running this store. And then when they come back and they're like, no, we don't want to do it that way. It's like, okay, well, I'm your boss and it's my store and it's how I want it run. And it's like, we're a staff of six. Like, I need you to do it. I'm not here 24 seven. And if they don't want to, then it's like, it's a little suffer then. I did all I could. I had a small business, my little Etsy store. Yeah, so do you recall I, that? But yeah. I never, ever, ever like shared my products on my Facebook or nothing like that. Like all yeah. of my customers were random people off Etsy because I was like, I'm not about to let people know I'm doing this. Of course it was also because I was making Christian jewelry and I didn't want anyone to know I was doing that. So, so I never told anyone. <laughs> the secret <laughs> shame of your Etsy shop. <laughs> you was making what? Christian jewelry. And that's why she didn't make it public. <laughs> but I look. did really well. I averaged like a hundred to $150 a week. I like Etsy and I like it. My issue, like, I like small businesses. I like that they're online. Um, I don't like it when it's really like shoved down your throat and stuff like that. So one of the things I do like is um, we have like the town Facebook pages and all these businesses can be on there, but they're like, you know, um, there's a limit on how much they can post each month. It's like, you can make one post a week. And if you're posting more than once a week, then, um, you know, you're going to get banned, which is nice because otherwise you would have like the same couple of restaurants just like constantly just spamming your feed. And you're like, listen, if I wanted your update every three days, I would follow your actual page. So, like that's what kind of sucks is like the ones that like do really shove it down your face. But, you know, some of them are fun. I like seeing how creative people are too. Like with the small businesses, like some stuff that you would never know existed, like all the Etsy stuff. Yeah. I did pretty good. I had one company have me design them a bracelet for some book that they were releasing to like all the churches. Um, oh, you know, wow. A bracelet that they were offering on their website, but they needed someone to like design it for them because <clears throat> it was like to accommodate their book. And so I did yeah. that and they ordered like almost a thousand dollars worth of bracelets for them. Wow. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. I see. I wish I was creative. I was, got, I was like doing that. great. Like I had like five or six sales whenever I shut my business down. I was like, "Hey, sorry, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm canceling your sale <laughs> or your order." You didn't even finish them. No, I decided I didn't want to do it anymore. I was tired of making bracelets. Look at you. 
See, I would have, I would have finished. I still them have the and... Etsy store. I'm just on vacation. Yeah. That's it, so that I can still use them. That's crazy. See, I would have finished out the orders and been like, okay, this is yep. it. But no. Well, I decided I don't want to do something. I just stop right then. So it's like, sorry, yeah. your order's been canceled. I'm not doing this. <laughs> oh my goodness, that would drive me nuts. Oh, they're Christians. I won't worry about. It. That's true. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding. <laughs> half kidding, half not. Who can be sure? I'm going to start a small business where I'm a landlord. Yeah, you do have that. Is that a small business? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's it's more of a, um, oh, what's a good name for it? <sighs> a way for me to troll him. Yeah. <laughs> not even so. It's like a... Uh, it's like Nazi Germany. <laughs> well, why do you think I'm, I'm forced to, to do this show? <laughs> That's right. Absolutely forced. <laughs> Trust me. Nobody you wants see the message. Here. You see the see the messages I've gotten. Hi. I tried to back out of this like four times today. I feel like yeah. you already committed. Have I not shared our show a few different times? And he's like, I don't want to see another one of these until I'm on it. Now well, that welcome. I'm here, I don't. I don't want to see another one. I want to get taken off the internet forever. <laughs> I'm just a jerk uh, that I, think I, found our, I think I found our hater. <laughs> <laughs> we have our new first hater. Well, I'm going to destroy you guys from the inside. <laughs> I mean, you already have. Uh, we saw all those posts on that one obscure video. We know it's you. <laughs> I wish it was me. <laughs> just like i wish i wish that they would do more i want more <laughs> we can only get better if we get the criticism that we deserve i'm a good landlord okay. i don't come bother you or nothing not in person just over text 24 7 <laughs> i tell him to bring me uh yeah. filters for my air conditioner yeah that's what you're like how many how many uh how many tenants have to bring their landlord different things? You know how bad I felt when I couldn't find them? I was like, oh God. You're like, great, she's gonna beat me. <laughs> raise that she's rent. She's gonna up. raise my rent. That's every time, every time that that he says anything, and Lynn's like, that rent's going up. <laughs> it's like a game to me at this point. Anytime I see him say anything, I try to find some reason to say it. It's making his rent go up. And that's why you can't be friends with your landlord on Facebook. Yes, you can. No. I mean, I am. <laughs> An anomaly. Yeah. I really should be. It's paying weird, him, though. To stay there. Hmm? What? I said I really should be paying him to stay there because it lowers the homeowner's insurance by having someone there. Don't say that. <laughs> You're giving him the power. <laughs> I have no power. Nope. None. So the, the only reason that I got my condo, I like, I'm convinced the only reason I got my com condo, aside from the fact that somebody like potentially died in it, um, is because you're not allowed to rent out the units. Cause the unit I got is $25,000 under market value. Um, and you're not allowed to rent it out. So you have to use it as your private, your personal residence. And uh, that means investors can't get it. So I'm pretty sure that's how I got it at like yeah. such a great deal. But it, it does like pose the issue of if I ever like fall in love and want to cohabitate, I have to either like let them live there or if they don't want to, like I have to sell it. And I don't want to sell it ever. I don't even have it yet. I'm never selling it. Just keep it as a second home then. I, I would, but like, that's the thing is I'm so tired of paying all my own bills that like I genuinely like frequently I just fantasize about like dating somebody just so I don't have to pay all of my own bills <laughs> and then I'm like no you're an absolute monster that's not a reason to date someone but also, it, it like, is it's so expensive to live alone like I'm tired I don't want to have to work this hard forever like I love my job I love working but like if I could have more fun money and like 
you know, see Lindsay 12 times a year because I can just like drive to Arkansas every weekend. Like I'll do it. <laughs> like, Thanks. great. You can, you can have the, you can have the weekend to game in this, in this condo. Cause I'm going, I'm going to go see Lindsay. <laughs> it doesn't cost that much to drive to Arkansas. It does not, but it does take a lot of my time. And if I didn't have to, um, work as much, then I could only work four days a week and that'd be pretty stellar. Sell drugs. Mm. <laughs> just so open a small business. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. People just so give money get... because they'll feel obligated to. So speaking of selling drugs, um, so I don't know anything about drugs because I've never like I've never done anything. I don't know anything about pot. I don't know like I don't know nothing. So my dad was like, "Hey, can you get me um a one hitter?" because uh, there's no smoke shops around me. He's in like the most remote part of the state. And I was like, sure, that sounds like a thing I can definitely do. Like how hard could that possibly be? And then I'm like texting my friends. I'm like, who knows how to get whatever goes in this? And I like sent a picture and I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like somebody please do it. That's the level of like, I don't know how to do anything drug related that I'm working with. Perfect. I yeah. sold drugs for a little while. Did you? What kind? Just don't marijuana. say it. Don't say it on here. <laughs> Just weed. It okay. was years ago, like at least two years ago. It was a small business. Wow. If you kept with it, you could have been an entrepreneur right now. You could have. I only sold to people that I knew. Yeah, but still, growing like I wasn't an idiot. <laughs> I wonder if people yeah. actually do that. The um. <laughs> Like around here, they only have so many like weed store licenses that they give out that like people are literally like, it's like a lottery and people are like trying so hard to get them. And it's like a huge thing. And those are all small businesses. Yeah, I need well, they're backed, but some big Y'all have recreational now, don't you? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. So on a different note, speaking of haters, I received an interesting message this morning. Yes. A group of messages. Do you want to read them? Because you're better at reading. Oh, sure. I only read part of them because I was out all day. But like the part of the message that I read, I was like, hang on a second. Like, what the fuck? Because I've been checking just my messages sporadically and I get like these two long paragraphs from Lindsay. She's, I, she says, I received these fun messages this morning from an unknown number. Um, okay. So it says your time has come. I'm going to change your mind about pain so that your fear has lost its use in your life with no pain means no fear. Then I'm going to crucify you to a red Oak. I'm going to let you bleed almost completely before inserting an IV drip of your blood type and cauterizing the wounds. Remember the pain of your hands or feet getting so cold that they went numb and how bad it hurts when they're warming back up feel that inside and out then i'm going to dye your hair your then i'm going to dye your hair back to its original color so that's why you got this message they don't like your new hair color i guess so it's your hair yeah apparently all right uh paint you up like a harlequin and we'll have dinner together I, so i didn't read these beforehand i have a lot of questions that you can't just go to dinner after that like you having could. all my blood drained and then have an IV drip of more blood. And like, that seems seems irresponsible. All right. Message two. I'll make sure you stay alive as you hang on that tree for 72 hours. Oh, 72. This was meant for this, you. Yeah, no. <laughs> 72 uh, always comes up. During which time I'm going to perform a surgery on you that has a low success rate. I'm going to transplant your missing womanhood <laughs> okay uh i'm going to transplant your missing womanhood reverse your hysterectomy then i'll remove the nails holding you fast to that tree and gently lay you down an iv and iv with fluids and more blood i'll feed you the water from boiled deer meat for 12 days then i'm going to tie your arms and legs together and fuck you i'm going to release inside of you i received this morning okay. You're going to, you're not going to get pregnant and sire. Oh no, it says you're going to get pregnant and sire a child. You'll not be able to help but resent. So that's message two. 
I'm gonna be honest, I didn't read message two when I originally read these messages, and I think you should call the police. <laughs> I think we should see where there's this goes. There's more. Did you get the rest I know, of it? there's more. There's still another message, the longest message ever. But this is definitely not see, I thought it was just a random wrong number, but this is specific no, this is for me. you. Yeah. Yeah, this is very much for you. And I don't like it. Okay. So when the child gets old enough to understand and know that his or her mother despises him or her, the child will develop its own resentment. Very terrible spelling. It'll likely inherit both of our psychotic natures. You'll begin to notice spiteful little happenings wrought towards you from the child. Eventually, they'll become murder attempts. Your PTSD trauma symptoms will have peaked at this point, so you'll kill the child. Your mental state will not allow you any discretion, so you'll end up in prison for life. There, you'll run into Sarah Midkiff. Her name my in ex. prison. Huh? It's actually Sarah Midkiff is my ex. Oh, okay. Not Sarah without an H. They put it with an H. Your cat. cats are losing their minds. So anyway, um, she would be in prison. Okay. I'm wondering if it's somebody that hates her. Uh, her nickname in prison will be Roast Beef. I don't know why. We all know why, if you're we calling We all know why. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Why would you call someone roast beef? Their vagina, obviously. Open roast beef sandwich. That's gross. Just some keep people, reading. Some people that don't know. <laughs> okay, what okay, we know. Like. We know. We know. <laughs> oh, do we? Do we know now? <laughs> but you'll fall in love with her again. Then one night, as you sleep, she'll put a shiv through your right eye into your brain. You were her first love, and it's been way too long that she hasn't been able to grieve it. Then you'll meet afterlife. Unfortunately, you'll be in purgatory until the rapture before God calls us all to the white throne judgment. As you stand before him and begin to answer for your every sins, you'll find me on his left. An archangel of all things. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's an atheist think about an angel of God being the catalyst for them going to hell to burn in a place they don't believe in? End of story. That's what I received this morning. What, what, time? Like, what time did you receive these messages? 12 24 a.m. Yeah, that's what my I'm god. Huh. No, this is I just sent three okay. question marks and they didn't respond. Yeah, this uh, your screenshot says 12 24 a.m. Oh, which may, maybe that was when no, I don't know. That's that definitely wasn't when I screenshotted it. No, that wasn't that was what time I, I think that was it. when they. Yeah, that was when they sent it. Who does that at 12, 24 a.m. on a Friday night? Does it matter what time it is when they do that? <laughs> yes, it does. Right. It does. I want to know. I want to know what happened in your day that that is what you send to a stranger. Well, I'm not a stranger. Well, you're not a stranger. But like, because the they know I like the number seventy-two. They know I've had a hysterectomy. They know about my ex. I think creepy. it's probably somebody related to your ex that like probably um probably is like was scorned ex. scorned by your ex and then they're trying to come for you. Very very um very unique scenario. It just makes me want to put in there's like um what was it? there's a couple of Facebook groups I'm in. There's one that's like um kink shame but also kink same but that would not fix. I do not feel kink same about that. <laughs> um no but there's no. another one that it, it's like something like we're we're not here to judge your kink oh it's like i'm not here to judge your kink but i want to know why and honestly i want to know why yeah i don't know these are the things that i get what it reminds me of though is the people that like aren't very good at sexting and like the, it, it there's a lot of continuity errors like you can't go to dinner after having all of your blood removed and then put back in with an IV and cauterized. Like you can't just go to dinner. Um, but it reminds me of like those people that like they'll sex you and like they're just all over the place. And you're like, have you had sex before? Like, do you know that you can't like those things don't work like you're trying to make them work? And I don't I can't think of an example, but am I the only one who has sexted terrible sexters? <sighs> You're probably the only ones that are sexted. Tech, oh. tech, tech, tech. I, I don't know. That's not <laughs> being terrible. Lindsay, have you sexted before? Well, yeah, everybody's sexted. Okay. 
You have? I said I'm probably this the only one who did. 21. Of course I have. I know. <laughs> like, Am I the only person that hasn't? Of course yeah. you have. Don't even be playing. Oh, I don't think I have. Yeah, you have. I mean, maybe it wasn't, like, to that level, but, like, you ever, like, tell somebody what you want to do to them in, like, great detail? Maybe send a dick pic? No. 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 That'd be weird. He's such a liar. Look at you. He's I've so never weird. done that. I've never done that. Yes, you have. How do you? I haven't. It's never happened. Yeah, you have. You had to have. No, that's creepy. I mean, like, if it's to a stranger, yeah. But if it's to, like, somebody that you're actually, like, sleeping with, you want to just, like, describe what you want to do with them. But I've, like, I when I post on Reddit, I'll get, like, people messaging me, like, those, like, insane scenarios, like, like this. And I'm, like, you don't know me. Who just, like messages somebody they don't know that they want to like drain all their blood Incel. out and think that that's a good first message like but that's the that's the vibe that gives me just like bad sexter who like is just like too excited and doesn't actually know like how the story is supposed to go like listen tell me a good story but like make it make sense because now i just have a bunch of continuity errors that i'm just like i can't get into this because you can't do all of those things yeah Oh, that's it's, too, it's too detailed like if someone was doing that to try to sex me i'd be like but and i'd be kind of like you like but this doesn't line up like the little english person in me would be like hold up like i mean and i guess the if they were like and the grammar like i just can't get into this yeah like if they were like and then like because these will go out to dinner like if they were like and then while you're still tied up on the spoon feed you like dinner like okay that makes sense yeah, that like, make thank sense. you Thank you for feeding me. Like I obviously needed after, it after what, twelve my days drain. of <laughs> yeah. draining my blood. You'll finally let me eat. Yeah, and then right before you put a child in me after the the surgery to put my lady parts back in. Like, come on. I don't think I'm gonna survive that. I don't think so either. He doesn't honestly. They don't seem like a qualified surgeon. Like I'm just gonna blame. So it's statement. not a doctor. We've yeah, never like I don't. <laughs> I don't think this person's a doctor, you guys. <laughs> well, no, they said they was an angel of some sort, so. <laughs> oh, that special. makes more sense. They're a Christian. Okay, now we <laughs> understand it all. <laughs> special special angel powers to make you good at surgery. But they also said it was risky, so. But it's risky, but they have the power of God. Oh. You know, it's in their best interest because they want that child of yours so that the child tries to kill you so that you murder it so that you go to jail. But so like, Sarah can murder me. Like, you would get a Probably my theory. ex, Sarah. And I yeah. misspelled both names, both Sarah and Midkiff. Maybe that's to throw you off. Yeah, so it had to have been her. Yeah. Did I'm you? Kidding. Did she actually badly? was very picky with grammar and spelling, so I wouldn't think that, that would be her. Did it end badly? Is that mm -hmm. what, like, years later? Yeah, I mean, she was. She showed up after I had Sagan at the hospital, and was going crazy. And I had to tell security that I needed her out of my room. Yikes! Yeah. I had crazy. I had a stalker once, and it's like it's made me very just like paranoid about it. And people don't get it until they've had like that situation. But I'm like, I literally got a text message from somebody that like said, um, he said he. I was like ignoring him because he was crazy and I told him flat out I'm not interested and then he sent me a message and he said like um I've told people where you live and they don't like the way that you've been acting um and I was like I'm sorry you did what like you told random strangers about my actions of not wanting to date you and then they aren't happy with me so they're gonna what come to my house that you told them about and do what to me so I was like, great, now this is going to the cops. So I know that you're on like parole. Enjoy going back to jail. Right. But like it's terrifying. Like how did you think that was gonna end? What do you like? I know you're on parole. You might be a good person. <laughs> Listen. It was like it wasn't like talk. it wasn't violent offensive. Like I didn't know at the I didn't know at the time. But the issue was that um, I was not looking for a relationship and he was looking for a relationship. And when like he told me, he's like, I want to date you. I was like, listen, we are just not in the same place. I, I'm not interested in dating. 
And then he just started going like, I know what you want. You don't know what you want. Like, I, you know, you, you want to be in a relationship. Let me love you. You, you don't know how to be loved. And I'm like, no, I feel very strongly that I don't want to be in a relationship right now. Like this is fun and whatever, but I'm not interested. And I was polite about it. And then like, he just wouldn't stop. And then like, and, and it was fine. It's like, listen, if you want to be crazy and like text me 24 seven and like, just like that, but like to literally send somebody a text message that says, I told other people where you live and they're not happy with your actions. What kind of fucked up threat is that? Like, That's did you so think weird. that that would make you like, did you think that would make me go, oh my God, I do want to be with you. Oh, you're so right. I totally forgot about that. That is insane. Yeah. People are so Talk weird. Huh? I'm asking Jason if he's ever been a crazy stalker. Have I ever been one? No. I've had them. Like weird stuff, like get weird messages. How weird? I mean, just like, I don't know. Like, I'm never going to talk to you again. Then, like, 15 minutes. like it, blocked and deleted. It, then it's like 15 minutes later. It's like, a, why won't you just talk to me? It's like, you said we've never talked again. Please stop. Then it can be like it's a about month. us in high school. No, I had to get like a, we didn't have we didn't have cell phones or yeah Thank we didn't. We were, it was just like the regular. You know what? I'm not going to talk to this we person. We could break up and then go back out like a week later, and then break up a week later, and go back out a week later. Like it was. You were that couple. Yes. Oh yeah. Like it that. Was funny. <laughs> Toxic. It was funny. I just sent him the code. <laughs> we'll see if he actually joins. He's one of those flakers, so. <laughs> Literally just sent it to him. He planned the time and the topic and the day, and <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, he already tried to back out. He's like, my really? headphones aren't working. I was like, you don't need your headphones. Just use your laptop. <laughs> he's like, let's do it tomorrow. I was like, my grandmother's burial is tomorrow. And he's like, okay, I'm downloading it. <laughs> What do you mean you're trying? You just fucking open it up. He said, can I do it shirtless? Like, sure, I don't yeah. care. <laughs> that we're doing? Are we doing this? Like, just take them all off? You're like, it's your nipples that are going to be on this, uh, on the internet forever. So I took my shirt off once on it. I mean, I just <laughs> raised it, but oh, remember yeah. when I was showing you my bra? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you can do whatever you want on here. Just know that the internet is forever. He doesn't care. That's, I don't care either. If he feels like someone will be offended by it, he'll be more apt to do it. <laughs> yeah. He's a I troll. Would, he's like me, but like almost next level, except he's not as computer savvy as me. Oh. But if he was... <laughs> So the, the boobs for birthdays thing keeps coming back to bite me. Um, <laughs> so, so my, um, my friend that I give massages to, he messaged me, um, yesterday. He's like, are you free? I was like, yeah, I'll come over. Like, it's fine. And then, um, like afterwards, he's like, he's like, I ain't getting boobs for my birthday. I'm like, what? And I was like, he's like boobs for birthdays. And I was like, I said, happy birthday. He's like, in some of your boobs. I'm like, you didn't ask for them. The rule is you got to ask. I'm not just going to gonna send. I was like, I'm not just going to send my boobs. You're to not going to go look at like all the birthdays on Facebook. Like, okay. I got to yeah. send all these people my boobs. Well, I was like, I was like, consent is important. Like, I need to know that you want them. He's like, who doesn't want boobs in your inbox? I'm like, I don't know if you want my boobs in your inbox. Like. I had a couple once that snapped me the woman's boobs without me wanting them. They had yeah. asked me to join them numerous times. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not interested. Sorry, I'm not interested. And I couldn't like just like block these people because our kids did karate together. You're like, great, now we need a new karate studio. So it was very awkward, but they would ask me all the time. And I'm like, I'm 
not interested. They would ask me to come over for parties. I'm like, I'm not interested. You're like, listen, like, I know you date women. It's like, it doesn't mean I'm into your wife. Yeah. Like, God. So then they started snapping me and would snap me pictures of her. And I'm like, I'm not interested. So if I blocked them on snap. That's well, weird, too, that they would, like, continuously uh, send her, like, only her. Like. You think that, like, I see, a, well, that's typical man logic. Um, <laughs> I can't control myself around a woman, so naturally women can't control themselves around other women. I wasn't into her. They're a little bit, they're, like, older than me. And um, uh, oh, there it is. With the laptop? <laughs> the button? <laughs> the very simple button for the camera? I'm almost too tall for this, so. Get a box. Okay. You turn your thing up. God, you he's like in a white room with a, <sighs> a military looking shirt on. Like he looks like he's already like like you're overseas. I was gonna say, yeah, we're doing a <laughs> Yeah, I am. I am. I'm currently somewhere else. I was like, I always see the post where um somebody was talking about how like the um there's always a third person listening in on phone calls between like military people and like he is the like, third person we're on the yeah. call <laughs> there's absolutely like, not he's the spy person but he accidentally turned his cam on oh but it was I'm like separate. they were like it was like a known thing like they they knew somebody was listening it was just like just in case and they were like we always make sure to say hi and bye to him <laughs> that's the i hate when i hear crap like that the internet is full of gems such as those there's not, always, there's not always there's not always someone listening. Not always. I wish. Sometimes. That very rarely, I'm sure. Shadow makes me have a black eye. Or maybe I'm just not that important enough to have people listen to my phone calls. That's possible. <laughs>